Fake news in politics, you can't escape it. Articles like this or this are easy to find and easy to share. Take, for instance, this photo about the National Guard sleeping at the Capitol prior to the inauguration. Just a few hours after it was taken, it popped up on a social media site with this caption. Reports are coming in from the Capitol. Massive gunfight. Not true. Congressional reporter Nate Reed with Newsy took that photo and posted it to his Twitter. He learned quickly he couldn't control where it went from there. I, I'd never seen anything like it where a photo I had taken was so grossly taken out of context. The spread of fake news happens across all political parties and it's growing. In 2019, there were 8.6 billion engagements on social media involving fake news. In 2020, there were 16.3 billion engagements. Fake news now has become weaponized in politics. Chris Halsney is an investigative journalist and lecturer at American University. He's been around newsrooms for more than 30 years. It's getting worse. One example is violence erupting on Capitol Hill with some individuals believing the inaccurate articles and justifying their actions in the name of truth. I could coach people on how to spot fake news, a fake headline. Most of them don't care anymore. People are seeking out news that matches their opinions. But if you do care, how can you spot fake political news? Well, journalism professors say pay attention to who the writer is. What is the name of the publication? What's their history? Who pays their salary? How long has it been around? Also, don't just look at one news source. But because that advice for many is not enough, it'll show you very easily whether it's something that you can trust or something that you should avoid. Gabby Deutsch is with NewsGuard, an emerging fact-checking company making software that libraries, businesses, and yes, families with fake news-loving relatives are installing on computers. The way it works is each time a news article appears, a green check mark or red exclamation point pops up, indicating whether you can trust it or not. The company has a conservative CEO and a liberal CEO to ensure they are not biased. We believe that there is a large chunk of people in this country who care about getting accurate information. One thing Deutsch says is fake political news will not be going anywhere. It's simply too cheap to create and appealing to someone's emotions is easy. It is profitable for people to run these websites. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.